You are now watching Injustice, Gods Among Us. On the left corner, we have a perfect example of what money can buy. From buying hookers and making somebody to a complete badass, we have the Batman. And on the right corner, we have the OG Killer Crown that makes other Killer Crowns look like grandma's little bitches. What is going on, all my gamers out there? It's that one and only Axe Murder and Beast. And hey, you guys are watching some Injustice Gods Among Us. Now, in the first round, I am kind of giving it to Joker right here. I kind of put the beat down on him, giving him some of that hurt. But on the second round, I believe he tries to have a little bit of a comeback, but I am the Batman. So, you know, Joker is a cool guy, but. He, he can't handle this, guys. He can't handle the epicness that is Batman. But anyways, guys, I thought I'd make a quick little video to share my thoughts about this game so far because I have put in a few hours to it and it actually beat the campaign for it, the story mode. So I thought I'd share my thoughts about this game so far. And I also want you guys to share your thoughts if you have played the game. Let me know if you think it's cool or do you think it sucks. Comment below. Now then, how does A and B feel about this game? So far, so good, guys, I gotta say. Although, I am disappointed that the campaign length was a little bit on the short side. Now, I understand that developers don't really focus on story modes when it comes to fighting games because you really want to focus on the fighting. But, I'm not a big multiplayer guy when it comes to fighting games. I just don't really like playing multiplayer on fighting games. So, I kind of wish that the campaign was a little bit on the longer side, but... It was still pretty good for what length it was there. It was pretty good. I would say it's going to take you roughly around six, seven hours possibly to beat the whole campaign. So like I said earlier, it's a little bit on the short side, but it was a cool campaign. Now, other thing that I like is that each character, well, the ones that I've played with so far, feel unique. Now, it gets under my skin with a lot of these fighting games where they have like a roster of 50, but more than 15 of the characters feel like the same guy, just different speeds or different strengths. So, I do like how the characters that I've played with so far feel different. They feel unique and not just copycats of each other. Now, one of the biggest things that I do like about this game is the stages. Not only do they look good, but you can interact with some of the stuff in the background. For instance, you see me and Joker hitting each other with that damn Piz carcass. You can do that with a lot of the stages. You can also knock characters into different parts of the stage like you see me do earlier with Joker, where I kicked him through the wall and then Scarecrow came out and did his sting on Joker. That happens on every stage. Of course, different cutscenes and different animations, all that stuff, but it's pretty cool. I like how they did that. So, the stages are definitely good. The only thing I can say that was disappointing about this game was just the length of the campaign. Because like I said, I'm not a big multiplayer guy when it comes to fighting games. So I'm not really sure what's going to keep me on this game now that I'm done with the campaign. But if you're into fighting games or just DC heroes, then I think this is a game that's worth your time. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, do leave a thumbs up. And if you're a new viewer, do subscribe. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.